respected judges and listeners. Good economics is indeed good politics. But if we look back into the ancient times and on the history of our ancestors, it is said that good economics wasn't good politics. But in today's era, in the 21st century, it has been proved that economic and politic are the two sides of the same coin. Both have a relationship as both are connected with a road which cannot be broken. It should be firm and only if it's firm, our India, our country can develop to be the vision we imagine. The political leaders are being voted constantly only when they're realizing the economy of the nation. Only when we have a great economic background, knowing what's happening around the world, what's needed for the people, can we lead to the wishes and needs of the people. My dear friends, if we need to become leaders, we should first understand what's going on and happening around us, isn't it? We should have the power in us. We should take care of our family first, then our society, then the entire nation. We should give our service for the welfare of the public and not only just for us. India is like our own brother, our own sister, our own friend. And we should consider like that. And I'm sure all of the political leaders can do their best. Good economics is good politics because our economic background is more diverse than any other country in the planet. And when only we realize our economic background, can we become good political leaders of tomorrow? Can we understand the people and do our service for the welfare and happiness of the public? Let's make India prosperous by knowing the economic background and doing good for the nation. Let's be great leaders of the world tomorrow. And always remember not to make that rope, the firm rope which is connected politics and economics. Political leaders need to know the economic background of India as it is very essential to lead in the 21st century. We should make amendments to the democracy according to it. Then only we can make India a drug-free state, a war-free state, a crime-free state, and many more missions which we can include. By even knowing economic background, we can maybe eradicate the two main problems which India is facing today. Unemployment and poverty, which is not impossible. It lies in our palms of every one of us. We don't need a title to lead. We are all leaders standing in front of me. I am a leader and so are you. Are you ready to lead with voice and aloud, knowing what's happening around us and also considering the economic background? The question is towards you. And this lies the future of our society and of our nation. Good economics is indeed good politics. Thank you.